very important to talk about this subject and I'm very glad that people are talking about it and um, this is this is what I mean by facing it frontally you know not avoiding it okay. but a lot of people are ending up trying to avoid it by taking drugs or by no I'm talking to the camera or by um, yeah, taking pharma drugs or other drugs or acting out in certain ways you know like playing a role of somebody they want to be um, anything that is not natural you know it's an act out to when when somebody acts unnaturally it's a certainly an act out and it's not getting the person to solving the issue itself you know. and testing on animals is not moving humanity in any good direction so it's just not happening and i see these um these professional videos, TED talk videos and and other introductions to research on the brain to find compassion in the brain and that's what really is ironic when a, when a neurologist is testing on animals to find compassion in the brain there's nothing more ironic and sarcastic and, and dark about this activity. That's like, I mean, anybody who can do this, they are not aware at all. They may think of themselves even as being a practicing meditation, practicing Buddhist or something, you know. But they didn't get it at all if they test on animals you know I don't know everything about Buddhism but I know from the books that I have read that the Buddha said that we need to get away from inflicting harm on anything on anyone on any sentient being and um, testing on animals is always unethical uh, no matter what they do because they're keeping these animals rats and guinea pigs and rabbits they're keeping them in relatively small cages I've seen horrific things on the internet I s I've seen things where I thought right there that would be reason for me to cop out of life you know because I, I don't want to be here in this world where those kind of things are happening because I'm too sensitive for it but that's why I'm an animal rights activist because I care because this really really bothers me when I see this and that's why I try to make videos and write letters to legislators and that's why I engage in discussions that's why I try to educate people as much as I can. And um, just want people to realize these things, you know, that running away from the issues, no matter through which vehicle, you know, it could be through uh, developing hate like Elliot Roger did, you know, it could be through grandiose paranoia you know wanting to counteract the unempowerment feeling it could be through cravings of all kinds of things it could be through greed it could be through the need to gain money from the pharmaceutical industry or to make a name of oneself as the person who invented the perfect chemical or the the famous writer or whatever it is you know or the 
the coolest of all, or whatever it is, you know, or the person with the best clothes on, or uh, the biggest silicone boobs, or the biggest Mercedes Benz, or whatever it is, you know, some people use dogs as their status symbol. That's really bad because their dogs are our children. They're not our status symbols. And so whatever it is, you know, all of these these are vehicles to run away from the actual issues, you know. Jiddu Krishnamurti said many times in his speeches, but people didn't really understand. I know a person who has attended those seminars in Ojai and she did not understand it. And I could see it when I was watching the videos that people were not understanding what he was talking about. He was already too far above to understand how simplistic he actually had to explain it. He was way, way too far, far above to understand kind of like a math teacher who doesn't even know where to start with this class, you know, like with me, for example, back then in school. I mean, I like had no idea what that guy was talking about. But I understood what Jiddu Krishnamurti was talking about, but I also understood that the audience was not understanding it. So it has to be brought to a, a much more simplistic schematic in order to make this understandable for somebody who has not been, who has didn't have the time to really deal or get into this, the subject, into this philosophy, into what it means to, to face issues, you know, to go within. And that's what meditation is for and yoga, is finding a means to go within yourself. And I don't know how long the video is. I hope it doesn't cut off again. So that brings me to Vipassana meditation. And I recommend to everybody who is that critically depressed, instead of riding around more and more and more on this total like bleakness, the this this dead end road or this total helplessness state. Look at what can what can make me flow again in life. You know what can what can d dissolve the depression. What can dissolve this standing still, this freezing up. You know how can I thaw that out and start flowing again? Because life is a flow. Life existence is just a flow, just like water flows, you know, it's not, it's not a curse, you know, I mean, I know how it feels when you think that way, I know very well, but I also transcended it, and I know that this is, this is an idea that we don't have to have, okay. we can get back into the flow of things, flow of life, and the meaning of life is feeling joy. Okay, we gotta write that on the wall, real big, you know, in every room. That's all it is. That's uh, it's been discussed by so many philosophers throughout the centuries, throughout thousands of years. Zarathustra talked about it. The meaning of life is feeling joy, and joy is being in the flow. Esther Hicks talks about this all the time. I don't agree with her on everything, but the philosophy behind it is absolutely accurate. That's, that's life, you know. Flow. Life is flow. And that's why I recommend to everybody who is in a real terrible depression and suicidal and doesn't think there's any way out, check out Vipassana Meditation by S. N. Gwenka. They are helping 
thousands and thousands of people in in prisons, for example, and the people in prison suffer very much, and it's helped them. So try that. Take care. Peace.